everyone you're welcome to dreams of the heart tv my name is ulu alabode and today i have a special person joining me on my video and he'll introduce himself hello everyone my name is david alabode okay so that's my husband of nearly 18 years so you might be wondering why i have someone joining me today the next couple the next two or three episodes we want to just share relationship tips you know things that have helped us in marriage things that people should watch out for, red flags, just basic relationship talk. So we're going to be doing that for the next two or three episodes. So I would encourage you to do, watch out for this. And today, we want to start with a topic that is quite interesting. It says, before you plan your wedding, plan your marriage. That's so right. before you plan your wedding, you know, wedding is such a big thing these days. You have people talking about the pre- they have like a pre-wedding shoot where they have a photo shoot. Mm. They have the venue. They have photography. They have so many things that people plan for. But a lot of time they plan for that one day. Oh, what's the bride going to wear? What's the groom going to wear? What's the bridesmaid going to wear? So many things. And a lot of people forget to plan for the main thing, which is the <laughs> marriage. Mm. The wedding is only one day. day. Yeah, and right. often people plan for that wedding. Yeah. And then the real thing, which is the marriage, people don't plan for it. So today we just want to talk about a few tips of how can you plan for much before you start planning for a wedding. Yeah, that's that's uh, very important, um, especially now that uh, the rate of divorce is so high. And the reason is because uh, a lot of people are not prepared uh, for marriage, uh, for the challenges and, you know, the different changes that takes place when two people come together from different backgrounds, uh, different experiences. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so that's why it's important that people get the knowledge that they need uh, to better be prepared. Now, like someone said that uh, marriage is the only uh, school that you get your certificate <laughs> before you even... Uh, even before you start. Uh, so that's why we're talking about this today. Okay, and so I would we have about four tips that we put down. I would say that that actually leads to like the first tip, which is having knowledge of what you're getting into. That's right. So marriage is not for children. Marriage is for mature people. Yeah. If you are not ready, don't even attempt it because there are a lot of challenges that are going to come your way. Things that you haven't planned for, challenges, trials. There is fun times, but there's also going to be time that you have to grow, that you have to learn so many things. So if you are not ready, mentally, physically, in every way, don't even go there. Don't even attempt to get married. Just stay single until and, you're ready. And talking about age, uh, it doesn't even have to... It, we're not talking about the number. Uh, you can be 25 and you're ready. You can be 23 and you're ready. And you can be 40 and not ready. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, so it's important to actually uh, be ready and know that you uh, are ready. Because relationship, your relationship will be tested. Uh, and that is why it's important to be prepared. And not just prepared, be well prepared uh, for those things that you know, uh, to be expected or even things you don't expect to happen in a marriage relationship, um, you know, things happen. And But when you're prepared, then you know how to handle them. Yes. And the second tip I will say is, are you on the same page with your fiance or your fiancé? So do you have the same belief system? Are you of the same religion? Things that, are, do you have the same values? Things that, because those are things that when you get into marriage, they can easily cause they can easily cause a problem. The word of God says for those that are Christian that do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. There's a reason why. Somebody wants to pray about a situation, somebody else is like, no. Somebody else wants to tithe the money, the income that comes in. The other person is like, why do we need to tithe? We don't even have enough to spend. Mm -hmm. So the little issues, you need to discuss everything. The little things you have to think, are we on the same page? Are we speaking the same language so that you don't end up getting married to somebody that you're going to get married and at the end of the day you're going to start regretting it even from year one and that brings to mind uh, a scripture that says amos chapter 3 verse 3 says that says can two work together except they, are, they be agreed uh, so the, there's an agreement that is important in relationship now in, in married relations especially so if you are not in agreement uh you know that doesn't mean that um you know you don't disagree on some things but you are not disagreeing on minor issues but you must have an agreement on major issues 
uh, that are very, very important. Major issues uh, like, you know, that are key to the health of that, re of that marriage relationship. So, because if you don't agree with those, uh, there is, that marriage is um, destined for, for failure even before it starts. Okay, and that leads us to tip three, which is communication is key. Communication is so important. So while you're courting, while you're dating, that is the time to communicate. Right. Courtship time is when you actually get to know the person. You communicate with them. Talk, 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 and as much talk as you can. Find out everything you need to, like as many as you need to know. Discuss. Don't leave anything out. How many children do you want to have? How many children do I want to have? Oh, you want to have four. No, I want to have two. Like we, you wanted to have... I wanted two. You wanted two, and I wanted four. So and we're like, okay, maybe we'll have three. And then we ended up having four. And we ended up so. having four. So, but the issue is that be on the same page. People get divorced even for things like children. Like how many children? Okay, the wife went and had another pregnancy. Why did you get pregnant? It gets person gets bitter, and eventually it's unre unreconcilable differences. So get on the same page. Communicate in every way you can. And tip four, I would say, is study your spouse. We go to school to study for courses. We go to school to study for different areas. We need to learn to study our spouse. What do they like? What do they not like? So that way they need to study us. We need to study that spouse to be. Yeah. Study them. Learn what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses. When they do those things, you won't get... What are the things I can live with? What are the things I can't live with? Yeah. Study them in every way you, you, you can. Now, because in marriage, uh, there will be a lot of uh, adjustments. <laughs> yes, a lot. Uh, so if you don't and learn about the person's weakness and strength because the weaknesses are not just to be they're there but they're not just to be uh you know taken for granted they are to be worked on so once you identify those weaknesses you are, you can work on them the person can work on those weaknesses you identify your own so you work on it uh, and then you're on your strength you know you, you you continue to work on your strength but if you don't identify those things if you don't spend time to know the person then there are surprises. You get married and they do certain things. You're like, why are you doing that? Uh, you know, they said love is blind, but marriage, marriage will open can your see. Eyes. <laughs> marriage is an eye open. Marriage will open your eyes. Yeah. So don't forget that. Uh, take time to know the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Okay, so enjoy this video. My name is Olu Labode again. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Dreams of the Heart TV. You can connect on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We will be back next week with another, with the second part of this topic because it's really extensive and we can't exhaust it in one video. So we'll be looking forward. If you have any questions, put it in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe. I would love to see you and hear questions from you. Have a great week ahead.